Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get World of Tanks running on Apple Silicon Max. So this is going to be using the macOS version of the game and we're able to get a very good playable experience on the Mac port of the WOT client. So this is effectively using a crossover code weaver wrapper in order to get the Windows version of the game running on a Mac and it works pretty well. We get about 60 to 80 FPS when we're playing on the M1 Max chip at 1080p at medium graphics settings. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider Consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this link which I'm going to leave a link to in the description and this is for the macOS port of World of Tanks and this is the specific wrapper that you can download from the World of Tanks website and this is a code weavers crossover wrapper but it's been built specifically for World of Tanks. So what we're going to do is to find this link here which is for the code weavers Mac wrapper and then what I'm going to do is to click on this and it's going to do a download. If you have an issue clicking on this and it's not downloading a file what you can do is to control click on here and then click open and link a new window and if the download doesn't start just press return then it's going to start the download for this dmg file so if you ever have any issues you can also look at the special dedicated form thread which i'll also leave a link to in the description you'll be able to get some feedback and support on this thread so once the file is downloaded we're going to go to finder and then we're going to click on our downloads folder and then we have this dmg file which we're going to double click on and then this is going to give us this wargaming.net game center we're going to drag and drop this into our applications folder and let go and that's going to copy into applications. Then we'll go into our applications folder and then we'll scroll to the bottom and we we'll to find our wargaming.net game center. We're going to double click. Here it's saying that wargaming.net game center is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? Press open. So now the launcher is doing an update. Just wait for that to complete. So once that's ready, we're going to be met with this all games menu. And the one that we want is this one world of tanks, which we're going to click on now. And here we're going to choose what type we're going to download. I'm going to download the HD version, which is going to take up a little bit more space. And then we're we're going to install this into its default location. Don't worry that this is downloading into the C drive, which is a Windows path. This is going to be working within a crossover type bottle. So now that we're ready, we're going to press accept and install. And then what we need to do is to log in with our wargaming.net account. So if you don't have this already, you can go ahead and create a new one for free. This is a free to play game, or you can go ahead and log into your existing account, which we're going to do now. So now that we've logged in, press yes. So now it's going to download the 30 gigabytes necessary for the HD version of the Mac client. So just let that complete. It's going to take a little bit of time. Just depends on the speed of your internet connection. So now that the game's fully downloaded, we can press the play button and we can launch the game. So here we've got the client window loading up. So now the main menu has loaded up and we're free to now enter the game. On this particular map, we're getting about 65 FPS. This is at 1080p on medium graphics settings. So anyway, this is how you get World of Tanks running on the macOS version on Apple Silicon hardware. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.